Greetings to the one person that's watching this video, my faithful viewer. Unless you decided to turn my channel off because you got bored. I wouldn't really blame you. Anyway, for those of you that are interested in this project, the uh, trailer van is ready for its first uh, real road run with working lights. Um, yeah, got them all hooked up and buttoned up. Got the LED tail lights in there. Uh, the front end wiring's all set up here. A seven blade plug. I don't have uh, any kind of brake actuator on this thing because I'm not willing to put that kind of money into this yet. But trailer wiring's going in there. Cord connector, ejection box, three quarter inch PVC conduit. Going all the way back up and over the axle. And then up and underneath and into the uh, rear end of the van and the tail light housings. Now, the reason I did that instead of wiring, uh, running all the wire through the van like a smart person would, I didn't want to have to strip all the uh, paneling out of this to do so and I didn't want to just run wires along the floor. So I mean, the inside of this thing is like fully finished other than the new wall obviously. So, and it's, uh, it's riveted down the board that that carpet's glued to. So, I felt this is a much better option. And why go to all the trouble of PVC and conduit and stuff? Well, I just tend to be a little anal about these things. I really hate the way trailer manufacturers just weld the washer, weld washers to the bottom of their frame and run wires through that and expect it to last. It's pretty ridiculous. So, with this, I shouldn't ever have any uh, electrical issues provided that the uh, vehicle it hooks up to doesn't have any issues. But my wiring's rock solid. 100% sealed up. So, it'll be on the road here shortly.